never give your raw files or footage away for free. And let me explain why. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Jonathan Moore. I'm a photographer, filmmaker, and a contentpreneur. I heard that term on YouTube and I actually like it. And I like to make videos like these for other photographers, filmmakers, and contentpreneurs who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live. So if that sounds like something that you're into, feel free to check out some of the other videos that I have on my channel about photography, filmmaking, and trying to build a business as a freelancer. So let's just jump into the topic for today. You just completed a project, um, you handed it off to the, to the client, you got the finished product, and they like it, or so they say they like it, but then they come back to you a little bit later and they ask for the raw file. So the simple answer to this question is, nope, not happening, never, okay? Actually, let me rephrase that. Never give your raw files or footage away for free. And let me explain why. So in order to understand why you should never give your raw files or your raw footage away for free, okay, we gotta kinda have a little bit of a history lesson. So when I started shooting photography, when I started doing video, okay, I was shooting on film. So I would shoot film, I would have to develop the negatives and then I would take the negatives and then I would get those printed and make my prints, okay? Or when I was shooting video, I was shooting on a, you know, a tape, right? Whether it be a mini DV tape or a SVHS, okay? And then from there you would digitalize it and create your final product. Now today it's a little bit different. Everything is pretty much digital. Everybody's shooting on DSLRs, they're shooting on, you know, camera phones or whatever the case may be. We don't really have that hard physical you know, copy like we used to when people would shoot uh, films on 16 millimeter film, okay? Or when you're shooting film and you had to develop your negatives. But the reason I bring that up is because giving away your raw files or giving away your raw footage, it's like giving away your negatives or giving away that film reel, okay? Or that videotape, okay? Once you give that away, it is gone forever. This is the part about the game nowadays that's a little bit murky because we live in such a digital world. Because nowadays it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal to just take some files, copy them, and give it off to somebody. But back in the day when you actually had a, you know, an actual tape or negatives, once you gave that away, it was gone forever. So what you gotta understand is that when somebody asks you for either raw files or they're asking you for raw footage, you have to think of it as you're giving away your negatives or you're giving away that videotape and it's just gonna be gone forever. This also plays into how the actual business of photography, videography, or content creation really works. So when you take a photo, when you shoot a video, you're shooting it on your equipment, it's your camera, it's your SD card, okay? When you take that picture, that is your copyright. That's your intellectual property. And that copyright, depending on you know what the image is or what the video is, could be a worth a lot of money. It could actually be something that could make you money for a lifetime. So if you're a photographer and you're doing stock photography, even if you're a videographer and you're doing stock video, which you all should be doing, you understand that you're not just giving them the picture and you know people can take that picture and, and then it's just gone, right? What you're actually doing is you're giving them a usage right, okay? And then they could use that picture for whatever it is that they're using it for. So if they wanna use it for a magazine, they wanna use it for a newspaper, they wanna use it on a blog post, you're giving them the right to use it. Same thing if you're doing weddings, if you're doing portrait photography, right? You're giving that person the right to use that image. Now, when it comes to a wedding, they're probably not going to be using it for a lot of stuff. You know, they're probably going to be using it for, you know, printing an album or making a print that they're going to put on the wall, but you're giving them the usage, right? You're not just giving them the actual files. Now, this concept might be a little bit foreign to either new or amateur photographers if you don't really know the business also, it could be a little bit foreign to smaller, you know, uh, clients that you're working with, right? Sometimes they don't always understand the usage. If you're working with, say, a magazine, they understand usage rights and everything else. But if you're working with like a smaller mom and pop company, they're probably not going to understand that. And so if you ever run into this situation, a lot of times there's going to be a little bit of education that has to go into play here. So like I said, you never give the raw files or the raw footage away for free. 
Okay, now I'm not saying that you never give it away because there are exceptions to the rules. One exception could be, let's just say you're working on a project and you're strictly a cameraman. Maybe you're a second shooter at a wedding, right? A lot of times you're just gonna take those images, you're gonna take that footage, you're just gonna hand it over. Somebody else is gonna edit it, they're gonna do whatever they wanna do with it, but that's usually established up front. Now, if somebody comes to you, they look at your website, they look at your portfolio, they're gonna be hiring you for a finished product. When they want a finished product, that's exactly what they get is a finished product, a deliverable, okay? They're not gonna get all the files that you use to put together that project. In the case that they do want all the raw files or all the raw footage, you got one or two options. You can either say, no, I never give away my raw footage, or B, you can charge them a premium for giving that away. The reason you charge them a premium is because you gotta look at it as that is potential lost revenue going out the door. Now, I'm not saying that everything that you shoot, uh, you can use for stock footage. That's not the case. But remember the example that I uh, said in the beginning where let's just say if somebody wanted your raw files from you know your photos or from a video, right? And you had to actually give them the negatives or the actual videotape, once that's gone, it's gone forever. So that means that you can't even use it for your own portfolio work. And not being able to use it for your own portfolio work is a means of lost revenue, potential revenue and income that you could be getting in the future. Now, I've been through this situation before. I've been burnt in the past and I had to learn the hard way, right? Because like I said, you know, when you're working with digital files, it doesn't seem like it's that big a deal, you know? And sometimes it is a big a deal. It does, it does depend on what you're doing, right? Like if you've got 4K footage or you got, you know, and all those kind of technicalities, okay? But sometimes it's like, oh, it's not a big deal. You know, I could just give them the files, you know, whatever the case may be. But you also gotta understand that that's your work. That's your copyright. So one, you're kind of, you know, you're losing uh, potential income that you could be getting in the future. Two, they could put something out, still credit you for it, and then that could damage your reputation and they could do something, manipulate the footage, manipulate the photos in a way that you don't like and you don't find representative of your style, which could also damage your reputation, you know, reducing your you know, ability to make income in the future as well. And this is why learning the business is so important, right? There's a difference between giving somebody, you know, the exclusive rights of you know your content or that image that file okay and also giving them the usage rights okay now if you're working with somebody it's a bigger client and they know what they're doing you know they're going to understand usage whether it's exclusivity or if it's just a general usage license and that's a bridge that you can cross when you get there but first and foremost you got to understand that for yourself and this is how the game of photography and video content creation this is how it works. Now, I understand that if this subject does come up, okay, this can be a, a, a sensitive subject, depending on the content, right? And depending on the client, depending on the project, this could be a sensitive subject. And a lot of times there's gonna be a little bit of education that you have to, you know, kind of give that client for them to understand why it is that you don't give away raw files or raw video for free, okay? And you gotta be able to explain that in a way where you're saying no, in a nice way and you know you got to be able to finesse that a little bit it's a little bit of education but you also got to be understanding that as well too because just saying flat out no could be very frustrating for the client they don't completely understand especially if they're like a smaller client maybe if it's like a wedding or something that you did they don't understand it's like well, why do you want it right you know it's my special day these are my memories whatever the case may be you know, they don't always understand that that's your copyright, that's your intellectual property. That is another revenue stream for you to make money because let's say, you know, if they want prints or something along those lines, if you're only giving out low res files and they wanna do big prints, that's another way for you to make money, you know, but you gotta learn the industry and the game that you're in and all the ways to monetize you, uh, the content that you're creating. Like I said, guys, I've been through this in the past and I have gotten burnt. I had to learn my lesson the hard way. So hopefully, you know, sharing this video can help you so you don't get burnt, so you don't have to learn the hard way, but you know, we all have to go through it. Like I said, it could be a sensitive subject, a sensitive topic, depending on, you know, what the footage is all about or what the project is. But remember, when somebody comes to you and they're asking you to do a project, 
they're asking you for a finished project. Okay, so that means that you're gonna shoot, you're gonna get all the things that you need to create a final product that you're gonna give to them in the end. Like I said, if it's established up front that all you're gonna be doing is being a shooter and a cameraman, you just gotta shoot, hand off the footage, no big deal. But if they're coming to you for a final product, what you're gonna deliver is a final product. And if they want the raw footage or the raw files, you can offer or you can sell it to them. That's what I say, sell it to them for three you know, to 10 times the cost of a final product. So if you shoot a uh, wedding, and let's say you shoot it for 2000 and then they come back and they want all the raw files, they want all the raw footage, okay? You don't have to, you know, you can give it to them if you want to, that is your choice and that is your right. But if you want to, you can give it to them. You know, it just might cost $6,000 now because that's lost revenue for you in the future, potential loss revenue in the future by you giving away your product or by you giving away your files, the raw footage, you know, the raw files, whatever the case may be. Remember, it's like if you were giving away your negatives or you were giving away a physical, you know, tape that you recorded all the footage on, or if you were shooting on 16 millimeter film and you were giving away that canister, that film reel, once it's gone, it's gone forever. And that's how you have to look at it. I understand that nowadays is a little bit different. Mostly everybody shoots digital, but this is the game. And so that's why you don't wanna do it. You don't wanna mess up the market, not only for yourself, but for other photographers out there as well. So that's all I got for you today, guys. Hopefully you found this useful. I know it's one of those tricky subjects. I actually went through it not too long ago, so I figured, why not make a video about it, give a little bit of a rant, but also a little bit of education at the same time. And if you found this useful, please give me a like, drop me a comment, let me know if you've been through a situation like that, if you're dealing with that situation currently right now. And until next time, this is your man, Jonathan Moore. For all my people out there who are trying to build a life on their terms and get it how they live, I'm signing out. Peace.